Hello everybody, I am back and since I noticed you guys really a lot of interest in my killer body bumblebee video which link is on the description below today I'm gonna brought out some old stuff of mine which is the Hasbro helmet this is Optimus Prime from the last night and let's begin taking a look at each size of the box this is the front and as you can see this is the product along with Optimus image and we also have that transformer line and the tag premiere edition so during the transformer 5 runtime all the toys that released in the first wave are all have the top premiere edition but they are not different at any cost but except to raise the price and you do have that warning this is not a protective device which means do not wear this when you are skating riding a motorbike or anything just don't and that would be it and you also have the stamps that say that this is the color mic variant from the image and this is a bluff and i hate that and i will explain in the movie uh and sorry in the review and if we, uh, finally we have optimus prime voice changing helmet transformer the last night which sucks h6 plus and now we turn it to the size and here we get to see the i think this is some kind of like blueprint of the helmet it does look really nice and detailed and i really enjoy that and you have half of his face turn it and you got another blueprint of him which is also nice and you got optimus prime voice change helmet and here we have like the epic quote of optimus prime blah 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 i mean this is for like children we don't do this to be honest and i don't really care and it said that change your voice to sound like the Autobot Commander Optimus. 21 sounds and phrase, adjustable strap and movie accurate details. Okay, let's have a look at the last size of the box. Here we have three buttons here and this is clearly on the right side. So the first button is to for phrase and Cybertronian battle riff. The second is for sound effects and the third is the voice change feature. Now let's get crack this open and see what is inside the box. Up on the back, we have two separate pieces wrapped it in plastic bag and also a manual. So here's the manual and this is showcasing that how you play with this product by adjusting the strap to so the helmet will stay secure on your head and how to insert these two pieces together and also another instruction about the voice changing. Flip it aside and you see this product requires 3 AA batteries Also not included so you have to get your own batteries So here's the front of the helmet and as you can see this is a really movie accurate design But then first I want to show you where to input the batteries So there's actually this piece here And you actually have to use a screwdriver to put the batteries on it But sorry I already did that because I'm too lazy to take it out so to insert it back, you're just gonna pop this piece back in like that to complete the look. So here's the complete looks of the helmet and I'm gonna say this is a really movie accurate design there are a lot of details and the paint job they did a really good with the blue paint here some kind of like metallic blue but the only downside is that they do not paint the rest of the helmet so as a result we have a lot of gray area but could have looked better with some silver paint on it but this is just pure gray plastic and I'm quite disappointed other than that the paint on the helmet is quite durable like I had this helmet for like two years and the paint still stay on it without any tripping so with the plastic material you can see that a lot of parts they create that kind of like matte finish so it does look like this was made from metal but like I said this may be better if it made from like real painted silver and upon that you can see that there are a lot, there are a lot of vents here and that is for the air to 
move around the helmet so that the wear does not feel too compact. And if you turn on into onto the back, you can see that there is clearly this whole gap section here. And that is also for the purpose of that the user, the wearer, they don't get too feel too tight and too hot when they're wearing the helmet. This is actually a really good playing function. Because as for the Bumblebee helmet of Killer Body, they do not have that, so it's quite uncomfortable to wear. But with this, you can have it and play with it. It's actually quite nice. Up onto the eyes, as you can see, this is, this is a play product rather than a collectible product. So there are no eyes here. They're actually the two pieces of like clear blue plastic. So that actually then mimics the eyes color of Optimus. That then also allows you to wear and see clearly. And actually, this, this is quite a nice. I wear this and I actually can read the books while wearing this helmet. But it's actually a test. One thing I don't like about this helmet from this size is that the horns or the ears of Optimus are actually hollow. I mean that, that would not be difficult if they just made a panel to cover it up, but instead they went to be into the hollow. That is okay if you look to the front, but then if you look size to size, that is gonna be bland and I really don't appreciate that. This is lazy designing to be honest with you guys. Looking at the interior of the helmet, you can see that First, this is a strap, so it will, like there are 22 levels, so it will hold into your head very securely. You also got that piece up to the top as well to hold your whole head section. And also for the glass, as you can see, it is covered by a soft blue material. And also there's a proper nose pad for you as well. And if you look down, you can see a microphone. That will be the microphone for the voice change feature. And that will be it for the interior. Now let's get to the sound. Up onto the sounds, I will turn to the helmet to the side so you see all the buttons. So we have three buttons here, and now let's try to press each of them until you hear all the sounds. Now let's go. First, we have the phrase and Sabatonian battle riff. I am Optimus Prime. Next one. One shall stand. One shall fall. I'll take you all on. I am Optimus Prime. Next one is the sound effects, the second button. Fate rarely calls upon us at a moment of our choosing. Autobots, it's time to take a stand. Knowledge is the pathway to victory. Very cool. I've returned more powerful than ever. Autobots, engage the enemy! Knowledge is the pathway to victory. Yeah. So, we meet again. Very cool. I am Optimus Prime. You've made a grave mistake. Failure is not an option. Bring it on. Fate rarely calls upon us at a moment of our choosing. Decepticon detected. I'll take you all on. I urge you to do the right thing. One shall stand, one shall fall. Let's stop the Decepticon. I returned more powerful than ever. And the last button will be the voice change feature. And this, it is an activated button, so I'm gonna record a dialogue and I'm gonna put it in the next few seconds here.
So this is Optimus singing New Divine from Linkin Park and I'm gonna say this is the most favorable features of this piece and I really enjoyed it. The only downside is that the micro, you have to be really loud and specific in order for it to recognize the voice. So that is the problem happens with when I put my phone in. So I put it on speakers and when I put the microphone on it, it doesn't receive anything but I have to really push my speaker up to that piece and then it can sing and other than that that is really nice the sound quality really really resemble peter cullen and i really appreciate hasbro for this piece that is really nice other than that this is purely a toy so you can have it and as a display piece or you can play with it that is up to your choice because i checked the price on amazon just now and this is like 44 dollars or something so that's really nice for this piece and that will be it for today so I will see you guys later. Tonton out.